Hey, welcome back. So this is part two, I guess, of a double header that we're doing today. Uh, we're in the middle of a water change dealing with a nitrite spike. Yeah. And so uh, the other video will be talking about that. This video is going to be talking about how we're dealing with the pea green soup looking water that we have down here. Um, if you've not done, dealt with it before, it's due to uh, billions of little microscopic algae that's floating around in the water that of course the filter can't deal with because they're too small and that's not the filter's purpose. Uh, the fish won't eat it because it's too small, um, but it makes your water look pretty bad and it's not healthy and all of that. So we're going to deal with that. There's two things that we're doing to deal with it. Let me just show you what those are. Okay, so method number one for dealing with the pea green stuff is to uh, take away the algae's food and that is by growing other food, <laughs> food for the fish, duckweed. So I've had this one and that one uh, growing in here for a long time. They have done an excellent job, but now that we have so many fish, they just can't keep up, so we have added another one. Hopefully just one more will be enough. I'm also looking to add some floating plants like some lilies or whatnot, who knows. Um, but they'll help to consume the food that the algae is trying to eat and help to cut down on what the algae has available to it. Number two is this guy over here. So this is a UV canister filter. Um, so inside of there is a UV light and with its own power it pulls in and passes the water through the light, past the light at the right speed that it needs to. So let me pull this guy up out of here and show you what that's all about. Okay, this is the JUP01. <laughs> I know that's not very descriptive, isn't it? Um, I think it's made by Sun Sun. You can see here it's a 13 watt, uh, 800 liter output, it, so about 200 gallons per hour. And um, so what this does is it brings the water in here, it runs it through this little chamber. Let me open it up. And there is a UV light right there. There's also a filter inside of here. I'll pull this out. A little filter box. now. I don't care about this. I have a much bigger filter system over there. Uh, if you were to have a smaller system though, that's what this would be for. Um, but you can take that out and clean it and all of that. But the main thing here is that the deal with UV killing algae is that normally you see these in like an inline system running from the pump through your filter before it hits your filters or after it hits the filters and returns back to the pond. And it's dependent on the speed of the water going through to the power of the light. If it goes too, through too fast, the light can't kill the algae. Um, I have a high-powered pump. I would need a very large or very high-powered light, and I just, I'm not going to spend the money on that. Um, but this one, because it, it has its own internal pump system, it's going to pull the water and push it through at the speed that it needs to to be able to kill the algae. And so... I've done this a couple of times in the past. Sorry about my feet there. I didn't even realize that. <laughs> I've done this a couple of times in the past when dealing with these um, uh, pea green soup water things because we're right out here exposed to all the sun. We get a lot of uh, those algae blooms. So this works well. It takes a little bit longer for this size of a system. It's going to take, oh, probably four or five days, maybe a week to, to clean it up. But it will do the job. All right. So if you are looking for a way to deal with this pea green soup, Number one, plant life is excellent for it. Number two, definitely give one of these a try. It doesn't have to be this brand. There's other ones out there that are similar to this. Um, yeah, they're great. Now, the one issue I found with these is that they have these little suction cups on the back and they, they don't work well with the pool liner. They don't like to stick, stick to the side of it. So they're always falling down into the water. Same thing with my other pond, which is a stock tank that's got molded sides and it doesn't like to sit on there because it can't sit straight up and down it's sitting at an angle and so it's only got two of those suction cups sticking and they let go so you you, you kind of have to um figure out a way around that for me i just you can see let me let me turn the camera around you can see i just looped the power cord around <laughs> a few times not perfect but it does the job and uh you want to make sure that this air hose is up out of the water. It's got a multi-directional tip here that you can angle that ejection port wherever you want and this knob here when it turns this way it's going to have maximum um, air bubbling and when you turn it 
this way, that's going to have minimum air bubbling. I'll turn it on and show you how that works. Okay, she's fired up here. Sometimes she takes a few seconds to get going. It's a little temperamental. All right, so there she goes. So you can see I can turn this ejection port if I wanted to create a current, say in one direction or another. And right now we're, so that's on maximum bubbling. You can see I have my air hose just kind of set underneath of here, trapped under there so it can't fall. They come with a little clip, I've lost the clip. Um, and then if we turn that way, now you can see that we've got minimum bubbler. Minimum bubbler, maximum bubbler. I like maximum bubbler. All right, so this product is cool, but it doesn't have to be this one. You know, pick your flavor. There's, uh, there's other brands out there. Uh, they're not super expensive. I think you can get them anywhere from 30 to maybe 70 $80 if you wanted a, a bigger one or a higher quality one, whatever. Uh, make sure to clean the filters out because they will get gunked up. And um, that's it, man. They're super simple. I would say definitely if you're dealing with the pea green soup stuff and you've got a big pond and you don't want to spend a whole bunch of money on a big UV light, grab one of these. They're great. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any comments or questions, drop them down below for me, please. Thanks again. Have a great day. Bye-bye. Okay, here we are five days later started this on a Wednesday it's now Sunday and we can clearly see all of the fish we can see clear to the bottom there's still a slight green hue but that will go away with a couple more days so much better these little UV light canister things they do work you just got to give them time okay thanks for watching